My name is Kristen Dold. I am a freelance writer for National Magazines and their digital extensions. Um, I cover health, travel, pop culture, entertainment, fashion, beauty for magazines like GQ, Vice, Women's Health, Cosmo, Travel and Leisure, and, and other various men's and women's publications. For young people, I would say there's no one route to get to where you want to go. I mean, when I started out, I was a page at NBC and was like holding lemon water behind stage for J-Lo so she could like take a sip before going on stage, like stupid stuff. But I found an opportunity there, you know, somebody at MSNBC was looking for, you know, one of us to help write, I did that. And then when a magazine job opened up, I was able to sort of nab it and have the experience um, and sort of worked up from there. So there's no one way. And if you're a writer, I mean, the best thing I would say to writers are be interested in the world. Your ideas are your currency, always. Um, there's no, you know, if you have a great idea, it will, you can take it anywhere. Like having a name does not matter. Um, if it's a really great idea, Vogue wants it and they're gonna pay for it and they want you to write it. The best ideas come from people. Like it is really hard to Google a good idea. Um, obviously like being informed about what's going on helps, but really the best ideas I've seen have come from chatting with people, traveling, meeting new people, meeting people outside your bubble, which I think we all learned to do after this election. Um, and then also you get a good idea by reading because a lot of times there's a big story and you're going to see a slice that hasn't been covered. So have great ideas, be nosy, don't be scared to ask questions, always. I'm super nosy, I don't care. And, um, and just write about what you're passionate about. As I said before, you don't have to put yourself in a bucket. If you like fashion and you like politics, you can write about both. So it's interesting because I think we've started to realize with media in general, excellence is just not enough. Um, having great content isn't enough. We have to find better ways to engage with people. They want their experience to be elevated and they want it as shiny and as satisfying as you know, their iPhone or the next iPhone. Um, and so we can't just work harder to great, get better stories. We have to really think about how are people engaging with this content and where their eyeballs are going you know, from the moment they wake up to the moment they go to bed. I have learned to take it day by day. I feel like things have changed so much from where I was 10 years ago to now that like I, I don't know what will exist, like what it will look like. Will it be a magazine? Will we have newspapers? I don't know. I know there will always be the need for good writing. Um, and, and you know, so as long as I have that, I will still be a writer. Um, I just don't know what form it will look like, but I'm okay with that. I'm, I think, I mean, TV shows end. So like magazines will end and certain things have to evolve and we just need to be okay with disruption and just sort of get on the bandwagon.